Hello everybody. So today what we are going to do, we are going to make a healthier protein brownie. So this doesn't require you to bake them in the oven or anything. It just seems as if we place them in the freezer or fridge for an hour to two hours to let them chill and set. So let's do this. I will also share the recipe as well, but I have to do some modifications of the recipe because I don't have some of the ingredients. So we're, we're just winging it here. Okay. Okay. All right. So first things first, line a loaf of pan with parchment paper and set aside. We got that. Add all ingredients except coconut oil to a large bowl and mix well. All right. So we're using process protein powder this is something that came in the mail it is vegan it's creamy latte the recipe calls for chocolate protein powder but this is what we are using today and it calls for half cup but i believe a full serving is a half cup of protein Boom. So that is done. And then calls for some water, but we will do that after. Calls for a fourth cup of cocoa. Two tablespoons of agave but we don't have that. So what we are going to do, we are going to use monk fruit. Cause why not? So two tablespoons. And this is the first time I'm making this. So this is going to be very interesting. Okay. Um, which is kind of nice because I also just had dinner, so I'm going to actually be trying these tonight. Then a half cup of almond flour. So I don't have almond flour, but I do have coconut flour. So we're going to do that. Only a half cup. And then it also calls for PB2, but we don't have any PB2. And I'm going to use almond butter that I got from Process. And yeah, so there's that. It calls for one and one fourth cup of PB2, but I think I'm just going to use a general, generous amount of almond butter. Just like that. And we already used, and I'm also going to put chill the fuck out in this too, because why not? If we're having them at night. If we're having the brownies at night, we're going to be chill anyway. So we're doing it. And then we do have to add water and sea salt. But what we are going to do first is kind of just mix everything together because, okay, so add all ingredients except coconut oil to a large bowl and mix well until sticky dough forms. Add in coconut oil and continue mixing until dough forms. Press dough into a loaf pan. Let chill for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So I think everything is like that. And what we are going to now do is add some water. And we do filtered water because nobody can trust tap water anymore. Okay. All right, so now we are mixing. 
until sticky dough forms. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Definitely smells chocolatey. I need something. God damn it. I hate when this happens. Mm -mm -mm. It's like when you know you're just concentrating so hard and then it just doesn't work. Decent. And then... I had to add coconut oil. Let's see, we're going to add some coconut oil. It's calling for two tablespoons. So a helpful tip, because coconut oil is obviously like that, and instead of trying to dig and everything, what we are going to do, we're just going to put the coconut oil on the scale, zero it out, and so one tablespoon is 15 milliliters and we need two. So I'm just going to remove 30 milliliters from that and place it into here. That right there is 15 milliliters. So again, when it comes to cooking oil, and any oils in general, make sure you are weighing things out because you might be over consuming and having your extra calories. Like that's probably why you aren't losing weight or seeing any actual results because all of your calories are liquid. All right, and this right here is 30 milliliters. So we are going to put it in the microwave, 30 second intervals. Obviously, no, I did not weigh that. Not like I will put the re the actual recipe on the post and everything, but then I will also post like what I did because this should be made with PBT, but we don't have that. So we're just we're just going with the flow right now. And then, yes. All right, so as that is cooking, we are going to put things away. Hi, my baby. Hi, I love you. You good girl. Mom fruit sweetener. Almond butter. And we need the coconut oil. This can go in the trash. that and now we're just going to mix it all together once again oh my god it's really hard mm -mm -mm. 
This is great. I'm not really a baker. I mean, I don't mind it, but to me, I don't like really eat that stuff. Like I do, like I will eat cookies and brownies if it's in front of me, but I prefer not to have them in the house because I don't know my limitations <laughs> when it comes to certain food because I just want to eat it for so long. And I think it's because I restricted for so long that type of food that now that I know I can have it, I just want all of it. Ezra? No barking. What did I say? I said no barking. That's not nice. All right. And now we are just going to transfer into the pan. Be using a bigger spoon, but I did not grab a bigger spoon. Can I help you? Can I help you? You lady. Press dough into loaf pan. Well, I definitely feel like there should be more dough in here, but at the same time, we did not use PB Fit and that called for a cup and a half. We probably used three quarters of that almond butter instead. So what we are doing, we're just gonna Make sure everything goes to the corner. All right. So it looks like that. So it looks like that. And now we are going to let it sit in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm topping this with melted like a brownie. With melted chocolate chips and coconut oil. Hey baby. Yeah, baby. Do you think I'm a chef? No. Really? Because they call me chef. Boy, got this D. <laughs> mm hmm. So now I'm just scraping off all the chocolate chips, or all the melted chocolate chips and the coconut oil onto the brownie mix. I mean, that is good. When. I have these sprinkles that we're going to use. They are Christmas trees and stars. Merry 